New details, Robin, on the takedown of the suspected serial bomber and the hit list. Police say they've now discovered on his phone. Our senior national correspondent, Matt Gutman, has much more this morning. And Matt, you're learning that paramedics mistakenly made contact with him before SWAT teams moved in. That's right, David. Uh, law enforcement officials tell me that as those hundreds of federal agents began swarming in, somehow there was that miscommunication and a paramedics team was told there was a 911 emergency at Mark Condit's house, possibly blowing one of the biggest secrets in the country at that time, the suspected bomber's identity. ABC News has learned that hours before that takedown, which ended with Austin serial bomber detonating one last device on himself, he had a knock on the door. Medic 211, you did a stage at your fire station. Do not make scene. What you're hearing is a dispatcher desperately trying to call the paramedics back to their vehicle. But it was too late. Law enforcement sources tell us the paramedics were mistakenly dispatched to his sleepy hometown address ahead of what was feared would be a violent final showdown with the suspected bomber. Medic 211, the squad 211, did you get the stage on this call? No, we didn't. There's nothing here at this address. That's because Condit apparently told them he didn't have a 911 emergency. Law enforcement sources tell us it likely spooked Condit, who later fled his home in that red SUV. There were indications that he stated in the video that he felt like we were getting very close to him. In that 25-minute cell phone confessional recorded as investigators tightened the noose around him, Condit's final words were, I wish I were sorry, but I'm not, according to ABC affiliate KVUE. We've also learned that Condit scoped out a hit list of potential targets. They went out um, to these residences and then swept them to make sure there were no explosive devices. And all the residences were clear. It comes as new images surface of Condit buying electronic parts just days before the first deadly package bomb exploded. KXAN TV obtaining surveillance from that store. It was one of hundreds of leads turned over to federal agencies. And law enforcement officials tell me they still have to chase down over 150 leads to ensure that Mark Conte did not have any accomplices or leave behind any additional explosive devices. But, David, one of the things that truly concerns them right now is that 25-minute confessional video. They are concerned it might be leaked and used to inspire future lone wolf bombers. Yeah, and David. we certainly do not want that. All right, Matt Gutman reporting on this all week. Thank you, Matt. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.